The third entry in the Forza Horizon series has you racing the byways and highways of beautiful Australia. Though the early entries had you racing your way up to win the festival, this time you're the boss of the festival. Racing earns you points and experience, and as you level up, you are able to expand the festival to more parts of Australia, places like Surfer's Paradise or the Outback. But no matter where you're racing, the majority of that time will be off-road. This will be familiar territory if you enjoyed the downloadable content from the earlier games, so if you wanted more street and circuit racing, you may be disappointed as Horizon 3 has a heavy focus on off-roading. The series is clearly far and away from Horizon 1's humble beginnings, and I still feel like there is something missing from the Horizon series that made the first one so memorable. The race that leads you into the festival is missing that charm that the other entries had. The set pieces they created for the races were amazing to start the game with, but I really wanted to drive into the festival and not have it cut away while I drove on a beach miles from the festival center. It's a nitpick, but it's something that the series has done before that made me feel connected to the world that it created, and I miss that here. And maybe it's because of that disconnect from the intro, but everything just feels thrown together. There isn't a real cohesion to the festival like the last two games. It's just, here you are, more races. And with no real reason to win the festival, since you're the boss, the game just seems like busy work. The only reason you're racing is to build a bigger festival. But eventually it just gets tedious. Some people might not care about a quote unquote story, they just want races to race. But I want more motivation than that. And I feel it's a big reason why Horizon 1 was so memorable. Who can forget going after rivals who were more than just drivatars? But all the trappings of the series are here. Circuits, exhibition races, etc. But now you are in control of the festival. You choose what sponsors join the festival, like radio stations, where to expand the festival, stuff like that, in an effort to create the biggest festival that you can. Graphically, the game is gorgeous. Drive anywhere slowly and you'll notice lots of little details like individual sand grains reflecting the sun's light. It feels like there is a big graphical leap from Horizon 2, though you will still have to play it at 30 frames per second. It's not a deal breaker, since the game runs flawlessly with no stuttering. Pop-in is greatly reduced from the previous Horizon, but some people may still get confused when driving because there's just so much stuff on screen to navigate around. And navigating in a Forza game is a bit more realistic, even in a Horizon game which touts itself as an arcadey racer. If you're new to a Horizon game, you might be taken back at how slippery the cars feel. Braking and turning the wrong way, or at a high speed, will still send your car drifting sideways into the corner. Driving these cars will, to a newcomer, or someone that's rusty, will make the game feel unwieldy at first. You can change the settings and difficulty in the menus, but even then Horizon 3 will take some getting used to. I don't know why, but I feel like Horizon 1 and 2 had much tighter controls than the cars in Horizon 3 does. Prepare to slide and drift around a lot through corners, and there are a lot of 90 degree turns and off-road jumps in the game that will turn your car around. It can get frustrating, and that's something I never would have said about the last two games in the series. I think Turn 10's idea of a sim is to make the car slippery, but maybe it's just me. It's something to get used to, and upgrading your cars can help with this handling. For an arcade racer, it definitely has more sim components than arcade. The game feels a lot better on the off-road segments, even if the checkpoints are sometimes harder to see. You can tell that they wanted to focus more on off-road, and that feels much better than the off-road of Horizon 2. The audio for the game is top-notch as always, and the soundtrack, while not as memorable as the first one, is a step up from Horizon 2. But I felt that the sound levels were just a little too low for my taste, even with surround sound. The engines just weren't loud enough to where I felt the pistons pounding on my chest. You can edit the audio levels in the menu, but the default is at max anyway. I just turned my speakers up and lowered the dialogue audio as that is louder than everything else. It was fine after that. So although it's not my favorite Horizon game, Forza Horizon 3 is one of the best racing games out right now, and it's probably the only racing game out right now, at least from a major studio. And as much as I can enjoy a racing sim like Forza or Gran Turismo, Right now it's rare to see a racing game have some fun with cars instead of a clinical rigidity of a standard sim.